What's going on YouTube? Skittle Fabs. So, since the last time I uploaded a video of me cleaning out my storage unit, I've been really just slacking on cleaning downstairs in the basement, but I did it. Me and my buddy, we did it last night. And yes, we were drunk, but we did it. We did a lot of it, so I've been doing a little bit of it here and there today, so. If you guys haven't seen that video, you guys can click right here and you guys can see that video and yeah, and then I'll update you guys. So uh, let's get downstairs and show you guys what we did. <laughs> All right, so we're downstairs, guys. That's my caliber bumper. Um, that's my Neon's uh, first wire tuck stripped. And I got it hanging up there for a reference because I did a wire tuck on my new wire harness, um, my new tuck that I built out of the car over the winter last year. And I'm really hoping when I put it into the neon, it starts up with no, no issues. But, you know, we'll see. I got some pods over here that are still in the box. Um, I still got to deal with that. I haven't done anything with that, but all the other stuff isn't mine. Just this brown, you know, looking box that's falling apart. And that's my carbon fiber trunk that my boy Smiley hooked me up with, which I'm pumped about. My big front mount intercooler is down there, and I got two pairs of caliber SRT4 lower control arms that I already went through, which eBay ones are junk guys so if you guys are rocking the eBay ones plan on going through at least one to two per year especially in New England roads so uh, yeah I got my subwoofer box which I don't really rock because that's just more weight in my SRTs and you know how we like going fast um, so I got two oil pans over there and I got a caliber one but caliber ones a shit. I already replaced one of them in my caliber but I have a bunch of neon oil pans because I I don't know I guess I just end up having them after a while and uh, you know I got two hot pipes for the neon stock ones uh, I have a modified one somewhere and like I said, that's my caliber uh, bumper. I'm still fixing that. Uh, you can see this tab right here broke. So I'm going to like somehow mimic it and rivet it and have another tab right here. But I'm also looking for these little tabs, which I have them all. Uh, I don't even know where I put it. But anyways, I have these little tabs that go in the back of here and attach the bumper um, to the splash shield. So I needed to look for those and I found them. I went through all my screws today and that's what I've been doing all day and that's why I'm making this video so late. I think it's like probably, it's nine o'clock right now. Um, but anyways, so, bought a generator because Skittle Fabs is going to be 110% mobile, guys, alright? I have a generator that's going to be in the back of my caliber, and I'm going to take its exhaust port and pour it out the window uh, so I can start that bad Larry up in the car anytime I want. And then I got my lights for when I go into a parking lot and got to start up the generator and start up the lights and power the heat gun I'm gonna be able to do it anywhere guys so holla at your boy Skittle Fabs on Facebook if you guys want to message me there alright let me get back to this guys I'm like going off track so I got a bunch of stuff under this tarp over here this is my neons um, front seats uh, my center console, middle console I should say, and my metal uh, floor mats for my neon when I'm done. Um, you know, I got my little workshop station, I guess, table, which is tit, right under the light, and then uh, 
I got my BMX bike, which I never ride ever. Oh, by the way, I got my roll cage pad in under there. I can't wait to put that on my painted roll cage whenever that gets painted. So I got my head right there, and I got some molding, some my neon that I gotta strip the 3M tape off of, which, let's see, I gotta get all that stuff off. But I got my, I got my handy dandy fender roller, but I'm gonna order another one because every year I buy a new one. I got my transmission right here. My 03 transmission with a 04 LSD. And then I have my motor rebuild. I have a laundry basket with front rotors from the neon crossed and drilled. And I got intake manifold. Um, all these totes right here, one, two, three, four, are all filled with neon parts. <sighs> Some carbon fiber wrap. I got my uh, eBay radiator with my JDM fans so they're slim so you can move in more freely in front of the engine and behind the radiator. Um, I got a bunch of interior moldings which I'm not going to be rocking obviously and I got uh, door moldings between the door and uh, the body. Um, I got my braided stainless steel lines for all wheel wells, all brake lines. So basically on the bottom shelf I have my big turbo. It's a 5663 Garrett with a 63 hot side from AGP with the heat shield from AGP but I might not be rocking that and then I have my tile blow valve that I won on a Facebook page SRT4 giveaway raffle page I can't remember the exact name page for it, but I'll try to leave a link in the description below um, I got you know random drawers filled with other stuff a lot of electronic stuff for my neon spare parts just in case things break like you guys can see up here I um I keep spare parts like that is a water pump I got a fourth mount but I'm not gonna be rocking that I'm gonna be I have the DCR I have pulleys tensioners and I have um three alternators I have my log manifold from AGP I have my cam gears, I have my starter, I have new brake pads from my Neon, um, I have my intermediate shaft, I have my two axles left and right, I have old um, pistons which they might be in good condition but I don't think so. Uh, I just hold them for like show and tell I guess. And I have my DCR low control arms for my Neon. I have old axles for the caliber and the neon. Um, some are good, some are not, but I think one of them is good for the caliber, like the driver's side, because I had a bad wheel bearing and I replaced that. And I'm pretty sure I uploaded a video for that, so um, check that one out. This is my Boomba fuel rail. I got my MPX 62mm throttle body. I got a. Um, a four band V band clamp for the turbo. I got my top lower dog bones, uh, hard lines, ABS sensor down here. I got the top dash pad. I got the hard pipes. I got coolant pipes. I got so much stuff, guys. It's unbelievable. And mind you, guys, I have all these parts because, you know. I've been fixing Neon SRT4s for, for like almost 10 years now. So it's like all these are my parts, but a lot of these parts I either inherited or got for free. Like I have nuts and bolts. I have thousands, thousands. So no matter what, I'm always gonna, I'm always gonna have parts. I need to buy a tumbler. 
I tried to make one, but that failed. That really failed, so I don't know. Um, yeah, so I really hope I'm going to be bringing you guys some new videos real soon. And, you know, keep on getting into problems. My dog had surgery, so it's going to be a bit until that motor's built. But I got to buy some more other parts for the Neon also, so... I want a fully built block with DCR additives, so I want to do it once and that's it. Alright guys, that's the completion to my video. I really hope you guys like my Skittle Fabs workshop down here in the basement. Uh, I'll be bringing you guys how to's and you know just different whatever the hell I'm doing basically uh, to prep for my build. I know it's a slow process guys, but I try to bring you guys videos here and there and you know I know I slack I apologize but you know smash those like buttons and that's gonna inspire me comment that makes me wanna uh, like interact with you and like that's what I want guys I wanna interact with you guys I want you to ask me SRT4 questions I want you to you know want how to videos so whatever you how to videos you guys want let me know in the comments below and you know I'll try to get that to you so you know, you guys see all my pots. I love SRT4s, like Caliber SRT4, Neon SRT4. I got them both. So, so, like, I deal with the problems you guys are dealing with. So, I really hope you guys that are not subscribed to my channel subscribe today. So, until next time, guys, stay tuned and stay connected. Add me on social media. Be easy. Peace.